Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in this video we're going to be briefly talking about the history of our own galaxy, the Milky Way, and more specifically about a very interesting event that happened about a billion years ago that created a lot of stars very suddenly. Let's discuss this and welcome to What The Man. So when it comes to the star formation in our galaxy, for the longest time scientists always believed that this was something that may have happened over billions and billions of years and it was a very gradual process. Some stars formed, others got destroyed, some stars formed again from the material that was released and so on and so forth. I mean this is kind of how we believe the sun um, was created as well. After about hundreds or so of different generations of stars, finally our sun was born as well. But when it comes to star generation and specifically star formation, it's not really as clear cut as we've always believed. The study that I'm going to be talking about in this video, that you can find in the description below, investigated the formation of stars deep in the center of our galaxy, specifically the central region, the so-called nuclear disk, which actually refers to this large area that's roughly around um, 400 or so light years across. And this nuclear disk obviously has a lot of stars in the middle, but studying them and trying to um, learn more about them allows us to really kind of see back into the history of our galaxy, because many stars in this disk are relatively ancient. At the same time, the central disk, uh, or the nuclear disk, um, is also a region of very, very active star formation. And even in this image here, you can kind of tell that there are a lot more stars in the center than there are here on the outskirts in the galactic arms. And so, what exactly did the scientists behind this paper discover? And also, how did they discover it? Well, the how part is, I guess, relatively easy to explain. They looked at the stars and the actual color and temperature of most of these stars in the region, and they were able to find out their age and study when they were formed. In other words, they were able to distribute these stars in terms of the actual age of formation, and they were also able to see how many stars were present from each of the generation of various star formations. And so what they've discovered is that for the most part, most of these stars in our galaxy were created pretty long time ago, at least 8 billion years ago, and this is kind of true for most of these stars in the central region. So most stars are actually pretty ancient in our galaxy, suggesting of course that Milky Way overall is a really old galaxy. But at the same time, they also discovered that the star formation is not really a sort of a prolonged process. It happens and then it stops. It happens again and then it stops again. So in other words, the star formation happens in these really large bursts. And in between these bursts of star formation, there are these really long periods of quiet time, when only very, very, very few stars are formed around the galaxy, and it just so happens that we are now in that quiet time where barely any stars are being made at all. And so if about 80% of all of the stars in our galaxy were formed anywhere between 8 to 13 billion years ago, that also means that our Sun, which was only formed about 5 billion years ago, is actually one of the younger and one of the more rare members of our galaxy. There are probably a lot less stars like our Sun in our galaxy compared to basically the majority of stuff that we can find here. And also this study suggests that our Sun was probably created during the quiet period of our galaxy. In other words, it was one of those stars that formed very very slowly from the material that was left from other supernova. And if the majority of stars in the center of our galaxy were formed in bursts, then, well, I guess the next question is, when was the last such burst? Did such an event occur relatively um, recently, or is this something that hasn't happened for billions of years? Well, by looking at the center of our galaxy, the scientists behind this paper were able to identify such an event. They now believe that roughly around 1 billion years ago, there was a very major event that generated approximately 5% of all of the stars in the galaxy. That is a huge number. That's probably like 10 to maybe even 20 billion stars created all within a period of only a few million years. The study also suggests that this was probably one of the most energetic events in the history of our galaxy. It was literally like a sudden burst of explosion of activity that could have been visible from really far away and that may have also created a lot of formations around our galaxy that we're currently having trouble explaining, like for example the 
mysterious Fermi bubbles that I've talked about in one of the previous videos that are still kind of a mystery to us. If they're there, they're definitely a sign of something really powerful that happened in the past, but we're just not entirely sure what this something was. But also by studying the center of our galaxy in a little bit more detail, the scientists behind this paper realized that overall the production of stars in the last 30 million years or so has actually increased a little bit. In other words, there are a little bit more stars that are being made uh, today than there were about 100 million years ago when the dinosaurs were around. Now this number is not dramatic, but it is slightly higher than before. And the actual number is actually pretty low. Um, in regards to the center of the galaxy, the um, number of stars made is equivalent to about half a mass of the sun per year. So that's a size of a small star in general. Another major discovery from the study is that they realized that the so-called bar here, the galactic bar that our galaxy is famous for, may have not existed until recently. So this is something that we were not really sure about. As a matter of fact, even today scientists are still struggling to understand how this was formed. One of the best explanations involved um, basically Milky Way swallowing another galaxy, but um, it seems to have not existed until relatively recently at least according to the study. But to me personally, one of the coolest things in the study was actually one of the ways that they discovered all of this, which is something you can see in this picture here. One of the ways they analyzed the light from these stars and also one of the ways they were able to see that there was a very major event happening about a billion years ago was by looking at the so-called CMB also known as the Cosmic Microwave Background. This is of course the first light ever in the universe that was created when the universe became cool enough and also transparent enough for light to actually travel. So this allowed the scientists behind the study to pinpoint a part of the CMB where it kind of showed that there was a major event a billion years ago and this is something that is kind of cool. And if you'd like to learn more about how they've discovered all of this, check out the paper in the description below. But I guess overall, it's the idea of having these really powerful events that happen once in a while in our galaxy that make this study and other studies very similar to it kind of interesting and somewhat intriguing. Because when you think about it, well, what if such an event happens today? Are we going to be in trouble? Is the uh, life on Earth going to be struggling to survive because there's going to be too much energy around? Well, this is something we need to understand, and for us to understand this, we need to keep looking and we need to keep studying our galaxy and, of course, the universe out there. On that note, that's really it. Check out the study, subscribe if you still haven't, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, and come back tomorrow to learn something you may have not known before. I'll see you tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye-bye.